Oh, Stefan, you heard about the MCU news from Renaissance, but there is not only MCUs and you all news in the MCU business. Uh, you launched also some power uh, semiconductors and news in power semiconductors. Mm -hmm. Could you please explain a little bit more about this? Okay, well, thanks. thanks for the question. Yeah, I'm uh, proud to present the uh, latest lineup of so called Super Junction Power MOSFET. Mm -hmm. This is a 600 volt class of MOSFETs ranging from 6 amps up to 55 amps, mm -hmm. covering the major applications in the industrial and consumer area, for instance, renewable energy applications, power supply mm -hmm. units, um, motor control applications, all the typical areas for the industrial mm -hmm. customer, also some, some areas for the consumer customer application. And what is new with this product, Super Junction MOSFET, uh, is, let me say, a technology which is already known, but unique to us is the application of the so-called deep trench structure, mm -hmm. which is different to most of the uh, competition devices on the market. It's a different kind of building up the semiconductor structure internally in the device with advantages concerning the production process, therefore the reliability, because we save some production steps, which always uh, include some uh, likelihood that uh, something goes, goes wrong, so much more uh, streamlined production process. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, the advantages for the application low RDS on mm -hmm. and also low gate charges. Mm -hmm. RDS on is determining the static losses of the device and the gate charges influencing the switching mm -hmm. losses. Mm -hmm. So these applications uh, where you need to have very high switching frequencies are the ideal application area mm -hmm. for this kind of new superjunction mm -hmm. power MOSFET. Mm -hmm. Um, the application you mentioned up to now, I would like to say these are traditional applications. Do you see more um, uh, future proven uh, applications like uh, smart grid, uh, yeah. renewable energies, electromobility and all this yeah. stuff? Yeah. So renewable energy, this is also a target area, especially if you look into uh, solar inverter mm -hmm. applications, where you really look for 0.5% increase of the efficiency, yeah. which makes a big difference mm -hmm. in the end, because it's really related to the yeah. costs uh, for the, uh, for the uh, usage of, of this device. Um, Electromobility is also something which is on the roadmap. Mm -hmm. Currently the products are qualified according to industrial and consumer okay. standards, but the future is surely to go also into automotive applications because electromobility is of mm -hmm. course one other target application for the future for these products. Okay. What about the smart grid? Yeah, you can smart use grid. Yeah, so if, if you look into, for instance, charging stations mm -hmm. for electro vehicle, yeah. this is a typical application where you usually don't need to have automotive qualified mm -hmm. products. So this is already an application which can be covered by these products. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the charging station uh, for the electro vehicle itself, uh, an application this this needs to have the automotive qualification, which will be available in the future mm -hmm. as well. And can you say something about the future of your power products in Renaissance? Yeah, uh, for this specific area of super junction MOSFET, okay, the uh, the future is of course going into higher voltage ranges, mm -hmm. 900 volt, and even more in the future, which is not yet decided, but 1200 volt will be also an area where we are looking into because the demand of the market voltages. going into higher voltages is absolutely there and uh, therefore we are also looking into this this area okay thank you very much okay Stephen. thank you Wolfgang.